whether you're an entrepreneur, whether you're a small business owner, whether you're just a marketing student just wanting to cut your teeth right now, you might be wondering, where are the best podcasts that I can have on when I'm in the car, when I'm working out, or when I'm working at my desk to get some uh, entry-level tasting to the marketing experience? Maybe it's ideas and tactics and strategies for my business. Maybe it's to give me a well-rounded picture of uh, what the landscape looks like and what else is going on in the ether so that when I have a job in marketing, I have a little bit more context to what's been happening in the space, you know, the last few years, the history, where it's been, where it's going. Stick around. I'll give you five podcasts I think you should listen to to start your journey on marketing. Good marketing, man. All right, so like we said, whether you are a small business owner, an entrepreneur, or just a student of marketing looking to begin cutting your teeth in the space of marketing, um, I did five books I think every marketer should have. Not everyone is a reader. Some people like to take things in uh, visually. Some people like to take things in through podcasts. This one specifically, audio, five podcasts. I think if you are really into podcasts, you should be checking out. I would hedge this by saying uh, these are... Uh, not entry level, um, it wouldn't be the right way to describe them, but uh, they're foundational. And so if you are already in the space of listening to marketing podcasts, uh, the five that I'm going to give you are probably going to be no brainers to you. You're going to say, oh yeah, obviously, um, you know, that wasn't really worth my time. What I would say is the the content, the quality of the content inside those podcasts um, are for the most part unrivaled. There's a ton of marketing podcasts out there, literally thousands of marketing podcasts, uh, just sweeping through them. And, you know, as I was making this video, I was trying to refresh my mind on what other podcasts I'd seen or were there new ones that I should consider adding to the list. Um, there, there's great teachers out there. Uh, I really am hesitant to ever recommend uh, podcasts or, or even um, vlogs to people because there's a lot of people who have really great teachings but their motivation maybe isn't great. And so um, they just give you a little bit of information and then they want your money. And uh, no fault for trying to, to make money and having um, you know master classes and closed communities and all that. I think it's fine, that's great. But uh, when you're a small business owner or an entrepreneur, maybe you just don't have a lot of cash, there are so many free resources. I think it's just frustrating uh, to recommend to you uh, a podcaster that you would kind of get a tease of some marketing ideas and then constantly be prompted to have to spend money to really get a lot of the answers. So I tried to give you five podcasts that uh, really don't desire that you have to give them money in order to get all the real meat information. Um, not that you'll learn everything from these five podcasts. There are plenty of opportunities if you want to have a master class or if you want to um, sign up for some sort of closed community to get more intimate one-on-one -on -one coaching Lots of podcasts out there for that. These are five podcasts I think you can just listen to, take in, and get a lot of value from. So the first podcast that I would recommend uh, is the Gary V Audio Experience. If you know Gary V, uh, maybe you even just rolled your eyes at that recommendation. Maybe you don't like his um, his vibrato. Maybe you don't like the fact that he cusses a lot. I don't know what, what maybe you don't like about him. Uh, I would say this though. When it comes to uh, tactics in the latest spaces of uh, the internet and attention, uh, I don't think there's anyone else that has a better handle on what's going on, um, you know, in the latest of Instagram and the latest of LinkedIn and Facebook and TikTok and YouTube. So if you really want to get into what's happening right now that I can deploy, whatever you think of his delivery, um, the quality of content is there. So I would recommend trying to get past whatever maybe you don't um, love, whatever you've heard about his personality, uh, and just listen to the words that he's saying. I think you'll get a lot of value out of it. Um, at the same time, selfishly, he, he also is very motivating. Uh, if you respond well to that type of motivation of, of kind of just kicking your butt in gear and, and getting going and just working on things, uh, he can be good for that as well. But from a marketing standpoint, the tactics uh, specifically, not necessarily the strategies, but the tactics on a very uh, simple level, he's, he's probably the best at delivering that, delivering it for free, consistently, and at scale, a, a lot of it. So um, that would be the first recommendation. Not, not that there's any particular order, but that the first one I'll mention. The second one is Akimbo by Seth Godin. 
Uh, so Seth Godin, obviously, I, I've mentioned him before, and, and if you know me well, you know that I'm a big fan of his, a big fan of the way that his mind works as a marketer. This podcast is um, might not come out and strike you as a marketing podcast because a lot of the ways that he approaches storytelling and, and a lot of the um, episodes, the, the content that's inside of them or what he seems to be talking about on the surface the reason I think you'll get so much value out of this from a marketing perspective is it really helps you think differently. It helps you change your perception. I think that's a really great thing to approach things in a, in a different way. And so uh, he's really great at reframing um, the conversation around really simple ideas and, and bringing some new value to it um, that I think uh, on the outside, sometimes we just look at things superficially and we think we understand them. And if you want a different perspective, I think uh, Kimbo by Seth Godin um, is maybe unrivaled in that area. The third one would be Masters of Scale by Reid Hoffman. Uh, so th this is a, this is a uh, sometimes it's nice to see someone go before you type recommendation. Um, so there, there are great tactics inside this podcast. At the same time, there are just great experiences that you can glean from. So they have a lot of interviews on this podcast. They bring on guests and uh, those guests get to share things that they have done or kind of share their story, which I personally find really helpful. Sometimes we can we can just talk and talk and talk so much about you should do this, you should do that. Uh, it's, it's more helpful sometimes to actually hear some real stories about a person saying this was the company I had, this is the money I had in my bank account, and this was the strategy that I executed, and here's how it paid off. So um, I find that one great, Masters of Scale, Reed Hoffman. The fourth one you maybe have heard of, um, How I Built This by Guy Raz, that's a uh, NPR podcast. Um, this is a very similar to uh, the previous one, Masters of Scale. You are getting um, probably more focus on the experience than the tactics, uh, but you're getting a lot of these really uh, large, iconic brands. You know, they have the story of Southwest Airlines. They have the story of Samuel Adams Beer. Um, all kinds of these, you know, sort of unique stories that turned into these huge brands. Uh, it's and there's so many tactics you can glean from it. But like I said, the tactics isn't necessarily the primary focus of it. It's going to be the experience. And so you can listen to those stories. It's really helpful to hear real people who, who work through real problems and solve them. Uh, you can glean tactics from that, but it might not be obviously called out. So I think I get a lot of value of just listening to where people have been and, and how they did something. Uh, I think you get the same. And then the fourth one is Building a Story Brand Podcast with Donald Miller. Um, this one is is kind of the whole package. It's not necessarily my favorite podcast to listen to, but when just speaking in terms of you know, you're getting experiences because there's lots of guests on there that talk about their experience with um, you know starting a business or having to market a business, being in a marketing department. Um, but you're also getting strategies uh, from Donald Miller, who writes Story Brand, which is a really great framework for identifying you know your customer, identifying the villain, and kind of walking through as the guide how the, the story brand works. And then you're also getting below strategies, the tactics of this is really specifically what we do with copy. This is really specifically uh, what we do with images and, and website design. So um, in terms of a, a total package, this is probably one of the best ones for getting into it and getting a little bit of all three of those um, parts. So those are my five recommendations for podcasts. If you're looking to just sort of dip your toe into the marketing space, whether it's because you're a small business owner or you're an entrepreneur or you're just a marketing student uh, just trying to cut your teeth, I would start there. Um, a couple of critiques that I have of the list. Uh, one would be, yes, if you are already in the marketing space, it might seem um, kind of basic. I wouldn't call them basic though. I would, I would call them foundational. I think it's really good to um, draw from the foundations, the different the different wells that those podcasts sort of speak into. I think it's important to have a strong foundation in those five areas. Not that you have to listen to those five podcasts forever. Not that there aren't other podcasts that offer us the similar value. Um, but I think they're they're pretty reliable because they're um, you know massively successful uh, companies that are behind those podcasts, and so. Um, the advice that you're getting is not necessarily just someone's opinion. You're not really sure who they are, what they've done. Um, it, it is a clear value there. So I feel very safe recommending them, but that's a critique. You might feel like they're they're kind of vanilla or kind of basic. 
The second critique I have is as I was writing down the list of my favorite, you know, five podcasts that I think are helpful, um, I realized that they're all hosted by men. There aren't any women hosts. That's not to say that in the guest lists of all those episodes that there aren't lots of women that are guests on there that, you, that I've gleaned a lot of information from, that you can glean a lot of information from. Um, but as I was looking at the list, I was kind of disappointed to realize, oh, there aren't any hosts on here that happen to be women. So um, again, it wasn't on purpose. It just was a critique that I would have that if you know of a podcast that's hosted by uh, a female that you think is a, just a by and large foundational marketing podcast, uh, please link it down below. I'd love to share it. Um, but yeah, those, those are two critiques I would have. Maybe you think it's kind of basic, um, not a lot of diversity in, in who the hosts are. I think the guests, there's a lot of diversity. Uh, I think the guests a lot offer a lot of um, deeper truths in, in marketing, give you a lot more helpful hands-on strategies and tactics. Uh, but I think those critiques are, are fair to this list at least. So again, those are my five recommendations. Um, you may agree with them, you may disagree with them. Uh, I think there's a lot of foundational value there. They're not the most exciting, they're not the most niche, but I think they uh, they have a lot of value and it's one of the reasons that they're so successful. Whether you agree, disagree, I'd love to hear your comments below. Uh, and if this video gave you any value at all, I'd love it if you would like and subscribe, maybe share with somebody else that would get some value too. Thanks for watching.